How's it going, everybody? It's been a minute, but uh, we're back at it. I'm with Mike from Habitat, checking out their new uh, Habitat house here. How's it going? So they've, uh, they've done a little bit of deconstruction here, as you can tell. The, the, the little rose bush is a redeeming quality, though. This house is super unique. The addition, this on the original house, you can see you gotta step up into the master bedroom here. And if you look, you have the old, uh, the old roof is actually right here, slate roof, uh, as part of the bedroom. And uh, not a bad little view from up here. Obviously much work to do here, but hopefully in a few months, I'll come back and we'll do a, uh, a before and after. The stairs are a little scary. You can't you can't really tell, but that's uh, two stories down there through the uh, <laughs> pallet wood. This is part of uh, Mike and I are just we're hanging out today, not just here to see this house, but we're going all around Wick City. I'm sharing notes with him. He's sharing notes with me, trying to make as much impact as possible when we work together. Mike also pointed out the lovely uh, flower planter out front here. You can see most of Wick City has adequate sidewalks here, but this one does not, so that'll be good. They're going to put a new sidewalk in here. And then we're trying to secure permission to extend it all the way down, so have good sidewalks all the way down the block. There's a couple of houses here we're looking at, at on Woodward Avenue. You might remember them from uh, Rock the Block, uh, I think it was last year. We had painted the bottom half of this, but there was always this top part, which we meant to come back and do. Well, Habitat came back and, uh, and finished that thing up. Also, all these flower beds that we put in last year, you can see every single one of them uh, looks really nice all the way down. These porches were done last year uh, with the help of Habitat. And then this house over here is the real gem. Uh, we, Habitat did the sidewalks. We had some volunteers from church that were helping to break up that sidewalk. They came back and poured it. But now beyond that, look at this brand new roof on it, all the way uh, porch and the top. So that house is completely transformed. Mike, you've been busy. Yes, we have been. <laughs> <laughs> and this flower bed, look how nice. This one on the corner of Union here, it's pretty much done. They got all the, uh, all the trim work completed. It's looking amazing. This is their new garage on Newbird Street. This is all kitchens, you guys, unassembled. We got some appliances here, <laughs> all uh, cabinetry, paint, all kinds of stuff. It's enough material here to do a whole lot of transformation across Katani. They also completed um, uh, some transitional housing here, so they have two full apartment units here for if people are in housing emergencies. So um, just make sure you're contacting Habitat. They have a lot of houses uh, probably coming up over the next several years. They're probably going to need more applicants. Uh, they're always looking for applicants. They're always looking for helpers. They got a lot of stuff to do. Let's just put it that way. And so if you can help in any way, or if you need help in any way, make sure you get a hold of Mike. Extremely successful trip with Mike. We got maybe 20 properties we're going to be working on between uh, Summer Serve and Habitat. Lots of updates on the way. Yo, Tina made taco dip today. Amazing. Thank you, Tina. All right, lunch was too good. I was like occupied for the entire afternoon, not just eating, but working on several different projects, like so many different things, like big things, huge things city changing things but in the meantime a couple of smaller things that i want to uh show you and this uh, like this is not a small thing like we have dki grant applications i don't know you guys might have heard uh, next year and dki are partnering together uh, we have uh, one thousand dollar small business grants uh, it, available to go out to different businesses that are doing one of three things number one Maybe they had a hardship due to something like COVID-19 or a sickness or an injury or something that they need some help with their small business. Uh, number two, if someone's going to start a new business. So if we, we want to support uh, places that are starting new businesses. And then number three, a business that's already in existence, but they want to maybe add another offering into the business. So maybe it's a 
you know, a restaurant that wants to add, you know, paninis to the menu or something, and they need to, they want to buy equipment and they want to buy supplies uh, to make that happen. They could apply for a thousand dollar grant to help make that thing happen. And so it's very exciting. We 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 put it up um, just a couple weeks ago, I think, and we already have twelve different submissions. And so I've been going through those this afternoon. Uh, we're going to have a committee meeting tomorrow, and so hopefully I'll be able to show you uh, some cool things that are going to be done with that money over the next several weeks. Very very excited about that couple other things we have going on. One you might have seen advertised on Facebook. Also you see these little signs around town. Uh, we got a community yard sale happening at the church. So this coming Saturday, July 18th, if you have some stuff that you want to sell and you don't want to set it up at your house, once you bring your stuff down to the to the church, hopefully if we combine forces we can get a lot of people there and everyone can uh, sell the stuff that they want to sell. Uh, there is a suggested donation if you want to set up a table and we'll also have food there available all day long. It looks like it's going to be hot dogs and sauerkraut and ham barbecues. So uh, it's going to be a good lunch. And then all the proceeds uh, that we make as a church we're, are going to go towards Royal Family Kids Camp, uh, which if you don't know, it's a camp that helps uh, kids in the foster care system or really just children that have been abused, neglected, or abandoned in some way and um, gives them one week of just really positive memories. Uh, they had to cancel their camp for 2020, but they're just trying to bank stuff so they can make camp bigger and better for 2021, and uh, we want to be part of helping that. So the last thing we have going on is hopefully by the time you're watching this, it's Thursday and we're only two days away from Summer of Serve. So while the sale is going on at the church, uh, we'll actually be out serving the community at the same time. You might remember the porch project. Uh, the guy who lives here, he's actually really talented. And so he's continued to work on this deck. In the meantime, since we were here uh, for the last summer surf, it is looking really great. Totally transforms the house. And uh, we're going to come on Saturday and help him finish that off. We'll do railings on there, steps, and the, the last few boards uh, for the actual decking. And of course, this house we uh, power washed last time. We prepped everything for paint, and so uh, we have some of this dark green paint. I don't know, you probably can't see the color. Uh, the dark green paint it will be here uh, Friday, and then Saturday we'll come and uh, we're gonna paint all of these awnings the same matching dark green. Look how nice the flowers we planted last time. They're already coming up and blooming. That will finish off that house for us as well. And so uh, we'll kind of be done working on North Grant and then we'll be moving on to some other projects. Oh, I almost forgot. We're, we're actually gonna finish the demolition project at the church as well, well at the church garage. Uh, we got it about 60 or 70% done last time. And so uh, we'll have hopefully a small crew. Some of you out there will be willing to come and uh, help us destroy uh, so we can finish that as well. So now those are just the things happening in the very immediate future. On top of that, had all the uh, just tons of church projects happening all at the same time. Uh, obviously, uh, the things here at the homestead, uh, trying to spend time with my wife and four children, and trying to maintain uh, my job, you know, that's fairly important as well. It's been a bit overwhelming, and so normally I would just say, you know, I just take my camera around with me and kind of film what's actually going on, but for whatever reason I haven't been doing that lately. I really want to, and I can't wait to kind of tell you guys about the, the two really big things that I'm working on. I'm hoping those will come to fruition here in the very near future, but uh, until then, I've just really, uh, I appreciate your patience. I just know this hasn't been the, the regular kind of content, and hopefully I'll, I'll feel like I have the mental capacity to just start making more videos. And it's not, I mean, it's not even so much for you, it's, it's for me. I like documenting the process, and for me it's kind of fun to go back and, and watch the different things that have happened over time. So, I don't know. I'm just hoping I can get back into that. Just offloading all these thoughts out of my head. Sorry. There's the little monsters now. <laughs> How's it going, you guys? Good. Good. Got a little tea party going on, huh?